it's not that everybody just hates motorcycles. It's that everyone who hates motorcycles hates motorcycles because someone on a motorcycle gave them a reason to hate motorcycles. That's it. That's the whole story right there. going to have a serious conversation about why some people hate motorcyclists. To start off, so when I very first met my wife, I was riding a motorcycle, and uh, but she just recently told me that if I had been riding a crotch rocket and not a cruiser, she wouldn't have even dated me about probably a good 80% or 90% of the reason people hate motorcyclists is because of stupid people doing stupid things on crotch rockets. Now I'm not one of those people that assume that everybody on a crotch rocket is an idiot. My wife is definitely one of those people, but I'm not. A lot of motorcyclists are speeding and doing it illegal or dangerous passes. I was on a twisty road a few days ago on my way home from work and there was this car in front of me and a crotch rocket behind me. And the person on the crotch rocket passed me in a no passing zone. They didn't even change lanes to pass me. He just passed me in the same lane which is never okay. And then, after that, he decided he wanted to, he decided he wanted to pass the car in front of me. And so, he tried to pass them in a no passing zone, and he almost had a head on collision. When he finally did get around them, he was going probably triple the speed limit. And I said, it's idiots like that why people hate motorcyclists. Also, some motorcyclists try to intimidate people to into going faster by tailgating them. My wife was driving a few days ago and there was a bunch of idiots on crotch rockets that were basically riding up her tailpipe. Uh, that isn't going to accomplish anything. Not good motorcyclists, but a thing that motorcyclists do that makes everybody hate them is rev bombing and I don't know where they get the idea that this is a that this is good you they didn't learn that in any class nobody would have nobody were worth uh, anything would have told them to do rev bomb and what if you don't know what rev bombing is it's when you hold in your clutch and uh, Grab up the engine several times, like going, rum, 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 rum. and it's usually people on crotch rockets that'll do it. And so, rev bombing is never okay, it will absolutely never help the situation. All it will accomplish is to make everybody hate you and want to run you over. Somewhat similar to that is people with with loud pipes on their bike that like to hear but like to hear the pipes i mean i get it i like loud pipes i don't have them on this one but but i like loud pipes uh, but if you're revving unnecessarily it, it's going to make people hate you like if you're sitting at a street light in a new bike that you don't have to rev. If you're on like a 1980 Harley, of course you gotta rev it to keep it running. But if you're on a brand new fuel injected bike and you're sitting at a stoplight revving it, you're just being a jerk and everybody hates you. Nobody in their car thinks, oh wow, that sounds cool. They think that guy is an uh, Also, when you start it early in the morning, and you rev it up a couple times before you leave and you have a newer fuel injected bike and you wake everybody in the neighborhood up 
well that's just also being a jerk anytime you do anything bad on a motorcycle it reflects everybody all they'll think that all motorcyclists are that way another thing that goes along with the uh, same vein as a rev bombing is when somebody cuts you off and you flip them off or yell at them or chase them down to yell at them that'll never help anything it won't make them change their behavior all it will do is to make them angry and if there's one thing that you absolutely don't want it is to be involved in road rage the lug nut rule always applies and if you get involved with road rage a motorcycle versus car guess what you're going to lose hundred percent of the time so just don't do it another thing that motorcyclists do is they confront drivers for talking on their phone yeah people shouldn't talk on their phone while they're driving their car or a text or whatever but no one appointed you the phone police if you go start harassing people for talking on their phone they're not going to stop texting it because some stranger on a motorcycle told them what they are going to do is they're going to hate you and motorcyclists in general no one appointed you the, the phone police some people they drive around waiting for somebody to make some minor infraction they do then they chase them down and make an issue about it so they can make some uh, viral video and another thing that people do that makes people hate them is they go and they run from the cops and put videos on that or they're a jerk to the cops and put videos on that and that is not only will that make the general public hate us but that's going to make cops want to pull us over another thing that makes people in cars hate motorcyclists is if you call them cagers uh, there's no reason to be condescending uh, even if you ride a motorcycle chances are you probably ride and drive a car sometimes too so uh, calling them cagers that's kind of being condescending and, and rude and that is never going to make them like you uh, another thing that people do mostly people on crotch rockets that make everybody hate them is they do wheelies on public streets if you want to do wheelies to go to a track or something or a closed lot doing wheelies on the street is not safe it's not going to make people like you and nobody thinks you're cool and it makes everybody hate you and the other motorcyclists just general rude behavior uh, splitting lanes where you're not allowed to and getting mad at people and and smacking car door uh, car mirrors or kicking a car as you pass it's just just ridiculous it's infantile possibly the last thing i have time to talk about here before i get to work is large groups motorcycle groups if you have a large group of motorcycles and you're going under the speed limit and you don't give anyone an opportunity to pass you and you've got you're blocking traffic or impeding traffic everybody are going to hate you they're going to see you as a motorcycle gang they're going to think you're thugs so i would say just be decent human beings it's it's not that everybody just hates motorcycles it's that everyone who hates motorcycles hates motorcycles because someone on a motorcycle gave them a reason to hate motorcycles that's it that's the whole story right there so instead of being part of the problem be part of the solution that's it for this video thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video and uh if you haven't already go down and subscribe and if you've thought of any other reasons why why um people hate motorcycles that i haven't mentioned uh put those in the comments as well i'd like to hear from you so uh thanks for watching and i will catch you in the next video peace